rolls her eyes. She says, I want to go traveling. Langdon's too busy to go. <laughs> and I said, well, why don't you go? You know, I have a cute wife. Why don't you just go? Go for a year. He says, oh, I could, I could never stop working. He says, you don't understand that magic of seeing that blank piece of paper and gradually seeing that design solution come to life. He says, as it gets closer and closer, I, I get goosebumps and the hair on the back of my neck stands up and it's just like an adrenaline rush for me. He says, I, I'll never give that up. And uh, even to the point when the last three years when he was confined to facilities and of course didn't have a drafting board and but he was still designing projects in his mind. He was doing renovations of the facility there. But one of the ones I thought was real interesting, that project that he was involved in, in his mind, was he was doing a huge landscape project for an important house in the mountains. And I asked him, I said, I, don't, I didn't know you ever did landscape architecture. I didn't know you were interested in landscape design. He says, I've always been interested in landscape design. I just never had the time until now. <laughs> so he did a lot of things that uh, he was certainly proud of. And I was thinking, well, what was really the single most thing that he was most proud of? You know, those are the things you talk about in the last year of your lives. And the only things I could really remember Langdon boasting and bragging about was his daughter Nancy and his, his son Langdon. Boy, he always made a point of bragging and boasting about their accomplishments. He not only loved his two children, he admired them, he respected them. He felt lucky to be your father. So what else did Langdon love? Just a few things. But boy, top of that list, some of you might remember it, a fully restored 1965 Mercedes Benz. This thing was gorgeous. Cream on the body, a bronzy copper on the top. The leather was a half inch thick. Everything was absolutely perfect and pristine. After all, anybody could drive a brand new Mercedes, but you knew it was Langdon when he came barreling down the road in that thing. Dashboard cut from a single piece of teak. He loved that car. So he also loved playing tennis and beating guys half his age. And when I mean half his age, I really mean if he's 60, he wanted to play somebody 30. And he didn't want to play somebody that wasn't seriously involved in the game, too. He wanted to play somebody half his age, and he was very successful at him. Another thing that he loved, he loved the Denver Broncos. He went to the Broncos in the beginning years, long before there was ever any success, long before there was ever a winning season. And they could lose most of their games in the year. He would say, it doesn't matter, win, lose, or draw, they're my football team. Of course, he loved red wine, fine cuisine, art in all of its forms. But uh, the last three years of his life, whew, that was rugged. Now that was tough. That's a lot tougher than it is right here today. Oh my God, the times that I visited him, I'm telling you, I cried uncontrollably for hours afterwards. Not like here, we're celebrating the man's life now, but those last three years, oh, it was painful visiting him. How Krista did it every single day. I do not know how she survived it and kept her personality and never was grumpy or but it was a very rugged time all of us that loved Langdon really genuinely owe a debt of gratitude to Krista for taking such wonderful care and I'm not talking about just all the visits which were you know one of the nurses told me she says I'm not here every day so Krista may miss a day when I'm not aware of it, but I've never seen her miss a visit, visiting day. Uh, that's pretty tough when you're, when you're lovers in that tough a situation, so. But you know, I'm absolutely convinced, Krista, that there's a special place in the afterlife and that you're gonna be in that place and enjoying all those benefits.
So. Okay, well, personally, what, what was Langdon to me personally? Was he a friend? Well, that doesn't begin to describe you know, my feelings at all. Was he my mentor? Oh yeah, no doubt about that. I've referred to him in, as my mentor many times. Was he like an older brother? You bet he was, you bet he was. Was he a father figure to me? Without question. But what I really think of him as is a cosmic traveling companion and I look forward to sharing an adventure with him in a future life. Thank you.